DNA evidence is being credited for solving a murder cold case in the city of Richmond. It happened way back in the 90s. Long time ago. Although a suspect has been identified, a family member of the victim explains why this does not bring closure. Crown Force Hazik Bedoun has the story. After 23 years, the murder cold case of Mika Wadley has now been solved. To Mika's family and loved ones, I hope today brings a measure of peace and of closure. California Attorney General Rob Bonta held a press conference at the Department of Justice's DNA Processing Lab in Richmond, which he says played a key role in using familial evidence to identify the alleged murderer by connecting DNA collected at the crime scene to the DNA of a family member of the suspect. We were able to establish a list of likely first degree relatives of the person responsible for Mika's murder and ultimately helped our partners identify him. Officials identified the alleged killer as Jerry Lee Henderson. And although this particular suspect died some days after the murder, I am hopeful that the family of Mika will have some degree of closure regarding their loved one's death. Richmond police investigators say back in January 1999, 28-year-old Mika Wadley was found dead in her apartment in Richmond. Over the years, the search for the murderer turned cold, but Richmond police investigators say they never gave up on the case. To Mika's family and friends, nothing can make up for this tragic loss. But I hope that these efforts bring some sense of closure for all of you. Mika Wadley's niece says closure remains yet unfulfilled without knowing why she was killed. Why her? She would even hurt a fly. So young, so sweet, she was innocent. Never in a million years I thought something like this can happen. She has so many dreams she wasn't able to fulfill. Hazik Madyun, Cron 4 News.